Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means market outlook video for this week. I want to get you guys ready for this week of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team with what we could see content wise, market wise, promos ending, promos beginning, and maybe a little bit in between. I want to talk about that stuff this week. Obviously, you, you guys know it is Monday. Once to watch promotion is all but over once to watch objective i think end double objective is gone it is done if you did not get that done that is unfortunate for you because it is over and the rest of the once to watch cards will go out of packs and the other ones to watch sbcs will be leaving the the store or the sbc section here at 6 p.m uk today so that stuff is going to be gone no more ones to watch content these sbcs will be gone um and the the cards will be out of packs so Obviously, very, very last call if you have any gold cards that are ones to watches in your team. Uh, this would be your last chance to uh, sell them at a very inflated price. A guy like Griezmann right now, after squad battle rewards tonight, the man is 300 and like, okay, he's a bit less now. He was 370 a little bit ago. Looks like he's now down around 360. So if you guys have these in your club still, I would highly recommend getting them out because he is probably going to drop around... 70 to 100,000 coins when he does go back into packs. Even if you just have a card like that in your team and you've been using it, I would recommend getting it out because they are going to drop. Save yourself some coins uh, from from that um, transaction right there and watch that card price drop as it goes back into packs. Same thing for all the other ones to watch us. Maybe a guy like Lozano or a guy like Brandt. You might see these guys dip back down in price as they have been inflated a bit over the past couple of days. Um, Lozano over here, like 21,000 coins. So make get those cards out of your club because they're going back into packs. And that will mean we have no more special cards in packs for the remainder of this week, in my opinion. I don't see any promos coming um, to follow up once to watch right away. So we should be back to normal time on foot. Uh, no special cards in packs and just, uh, just the team of the week should be in packs this week. So the once to watch promo will be ending um, and hopefully you guys were able to get some good cards. It's still going to be fun to watch these cards move out of packs because these are basically, the, uh, they're like informs and the fact that they're going to be, they're not going to be supplied by packs anymore. They're still going to have the hype around the IRL in-game performances. As you guys have seen, many of these cards have done very well. Coutinho, 200K, he fluctuates a lot. Lukaku scores a lot of goals. He is very active for Inter. Griezmann and Hazard's inflated right now. Obviously, Sarabia is inflated for a potential Team of the Week card this week. So there's a lot of options out there right now for once to watch cards. Um, so we're just going to have to watch these cards as they go out of packs. My guess is that they will rise a decent amount. But they're still going to be able to be flipped on the weekly, like we've been talking about. You can sell them when they're leading up to their game, sell into the hype. Or if they do get an, uh, score a goal or two in game and have the hype, their price rises and then buy them after a game they possibly don't do so well in. That's still uh, definitely a, uh, a great option for trading. But those cards will be going out of packs. So you'll probably see those prices rise over the next couple of days in foot. But then other than that, we don't have a lot of SBCs going on right now. It's going to kind of get quiet. I mean, we had some SBCs with the ones to watch. We have a few SBCs still left in the store. The PlayStation, the marquee matchups, the marquee moments. I would expect possibly another SBC or two this week. Um, some things that we could see is possibly information about league SBCs. They haven't told us anything about those. We have some leaks on Twitter or some inside information possibly that it's telling us that league SBCs might be a thing of the past, that we might not be getting league SBCs this year and that they might be um, objective-based. So we're, gonna have, we're probably going to get some information on that. And then we could even get maybe like a first flashback or something like, I don't know if they're going to do flashback cards this year. That's just throwing something out there. But I could see them throwing something really random in midweek to kind of keep the content rolling and flowing. Possibly an objective, um, something like that. We could see something like that happen this week. Uh, and just a reminder, keep checking these objectives as well, the season objectives or the daily objectives, because some of the stuff they add in, they haven't tweeted out. They never tweeted out when they put in Salah's story as an objective. So keep an eye on the objectives. Check those every day because those get updated, and sometimes we don't even realize it, which is very interesting there. But the biggest thing that I want to talk about coming this week 
is right here and that is icon swaps they are coming on friday we're going to get a lot of information on friday and that's going to create some markets um you know this market movements and possible panic with icons heading into this weekend so we're going to be basically figuring out what we have to do how hard the objectives are going to be for the icons we know what the icons are going to be for this set one these are all the icon swaps here i made a video on the pitch notes these pitch notes right here. So if you want to go review that video, I will link it down below in the, in the uh, in description. You can go check that video out. Um, and uh, it talks a very deep dive through the pitch notes uh, in that video. But these are the icons we'll be chasing through the icon swaps, which is basically kind of like foot swap in a sense. But it looks like it's not. there's not even going to be any objectives. It looks like it's just going to be from objectives, or excuse me, and there's not going to be any SBCs. It's only going to be through objectives that we can get these player tokens that you see right here, the player tokens, to redeem for the icon rewards in those that set one. So this information is coming on October 11th. We might see some icon movement on the market this week. And I want to talk about this week, you're going to see me post an icon flipping video. We're going to talk about how to trade and how to flip with icons because I know that's a big question for a lot of people is how to trade and how to flip some of these icons on the market. It's a very good question. A lot of people want to know how to trade and flip with these cards because they are very popular. And um, people are now getting enough coins where, hey, they maybe might be able to splash their coins on an icon. So that's something that I want to kind of look with you guys at um, and talk about. But you also, I want to inform you that you might see some panic on the market with these cards leading up to Friday because... People are thinking that, hey, something's going to happen with these icons because the swaps are going to be coming out. So watch the market for panic Thursday into Friday um, with the icons, especially because we could see people panic selling. I mean, people like to panic sell on Friday mornings before a promo. This is basically like info coming out. If you see a lot of information about this this week, if you see a lot of people on Twitter talking about, oh, yeah, icon swaps are coming on Friday, you might see a little bit more if it gets popular if nobody's talking about this and people forget that the icon swaps are coming you probably won't see as much of a panic sell or hype on friday morning that's just how it is people generate hype by talking about things on youtube videos like i am on twitter which is probably the main platform most people see it on twitter or on live streams so if you see a lot of people talking about the icon swaps that could be a situation where in the next couple of days you might see a little bit of panic on icons don't let that deter you from trading with icons whatsoever uh, just be careful it might actually be a great opportunity to pick up some icons um, on the market because they get panic sold so that's something to watch this friday if you do uh, see some panic on those icons but again this week in fifa is probably just going to be kind of a chill week maybe some content here or there i could expect the one swatch promo ending i would expect a couple new sbcs um, that they just randomly drop, maybe a couple SBCs for packs, or um, hopefully some information regarding ones to watch SBCs. We have, um, we'll get marquee matchups this week related to international games, so maybe they'll do something for the uh, Europa qualifiers. Those games uh, are, yeah, Europa qualifiers, is that what it is? Let me go to Sofa Score and check these games out again. Um, Thursday, we start with the Euro quali Euro Cup qualification. That's what I was trying to say. Euro Cup qualification. The group games are going to be happening. I'm looking at um, I'm looking at Sofa Score right now, and you do have a few of these that are going on. Uh, Belgium, San Marino, Russia, Scotland, Wales plays, Croatia play, the Netherlands play. So there are some international teams that are playing, and then some international friendlies as well. So we will probably see marquee matchups related to those uh, those games coming out on Thursday. So that's something to look out for. And maybe even one other SBC, maybe like a, a some sort of Euro SBC um, in the week, maybe related to the nationalities of teams that are playing and have big games. Something like that is a possibility. I wouldn't count on it, but just something that we could see that you guys could maybe be prepared for. The last thing that I want to talk about is uh, this SBC. If you've made it to this point of the video, thumbs up to you. I appreciate you guys. But this was tweeted today, and I want to I want to address this because a lot of people were looking at this today. This is a tweet from somebody that was uh, either in Norway or plays the game in Norwegian. This um, little 
don't know what you call this, like info card. These are on the front screen of foot. If I go back over here to my foot, you can cycle through these cards over here. Um, and basically what you saw over here on Twitter was somebody took a screenshot today. When you change your language to Nor Norway or Norwegian, I guess, you get this SBC, which says nine goal in SBC. So either they were supposed to put out, out this nine goal in SBC during the ones to watch promo and they didn't, or it's supposed to come out today on Monday and this was like a leak preceding that. I don't know what's happening, but I wanted to kind of mention that to you guys. I don't think it's smart to invest in it. I don't know what you would buy to invest in it. I don't think it's really something that you need to invest in, but it's something to maybe just keep in the back of your mind for today at 6 p.m. UK if we do see something on the market. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And the general market trends for this week, an outlook on just kind of the general overall market, I would expect to see um, right now the market this weekend is so freaking low, dude. This The market right now is so low, 83 points. It is lower right now, right after Squad Battle Rewards when I'm recording this, lower right now than it has been at any single point in FIFA so far. And it's only going to go up from here. You know, obviously last week we said, yes, the market's going to go up on Thursday with Weekend League Rewards. Well, we didn't really have Weekend League last week. We had the second week of Division Rivals. And I don't think a lot of people were actually qualified for the Weekend League, especially in the casual realm of players. I wasn't qualified. I'm still not um, in terms of having enough points. So I think this next week you'll see a little bit more of a rise. But again, I think that it's still going to be kind of a slower rise. Through the week, you'll probably see some cards start to just kind of transfer back up into that price range, especially if we get some pack supply from some sort of SBC. Um, you might see prices dip right away, but then also rise back up because that would put some coins on the market. But also what I've been talking about in some videos as well is if EA puts out multiple SBCs this week that are kind of like, you know, the dink and dunk, kind of take you take 20K from you here, take 50K from you here on some sort of SBC, just for getting you packs. People are suckers for those SBCs, and that's why I think people don't have coins right now. Because of this SBC right here, and then some of the like the uh, the UEFA marquee matchups SBC, and then these cards right here. A lot of people have done these SBCs, and this is like 60K if you do both of those. So 60K at this point of the game is a decent amount of coins, so I think people are just kinda, EA's kinda taking 20K here, 30K here from people, and that's hurting coin totals a lot and with more rewards coming under the market I think you'll start to see that market rise throughout the week this week so be on the watch for that in terms of a general market trend as more rewards come onto the market and people continue to play the game that's when you see more rise in the market and it's just been slow this year last year there was some slow parts last year as well but this year it just seems a little bit slower I think EA has done a great job with SBCs on their part they've done a great job with taking coins away from people and disallowing the market to really rise. And that obviously makes people coins on the game. So you can't always argue that EA is for and against for traders or against traders. We can never really say that, but there are a lot of, sometimes a lot of stuff that happens with SBCs and with requirements and with server outages and stuff like that. It seems like they're trying to hurt the traders but we'll never have concrete evidence against that because they'll never say yes or no. I'm not gonna say I believe in that or not, but EA, I will say this, EA is very smart and they know how to run their game and they know how to run their market, but sometimes they don't execute things very well. We all know that FIFA has its flaws and that's for sure, um, but we continue on and hopefully they can continue to improve those things. But that's the Market Outlook video for this week. Market slowly rising into the end of the week, some possible icon panic, and the biggest thing is the news for the icon swaps. We're really going to be able to figure out what icon swaps look like and how it's going to be trying to grind towards these icons. That's something that a lot of people, that's going to be the big focus this week after the Once to Watch promo ends. So we'll be looking at a lot of information on that. Probably more videos on the channel this week about icons. Uh, I mentioned the icon flipping guide. We'll be doing that as well. That'll be a big video, probably a longer one that I'll have to prepare a lot for. And, um, I would look forward to that one. That's going to be a very in-depth, very good icon trading tutorial video that you guys will be able to look back on at any time throughout the year and to uh, possibly learn from that video as well. So 
That's your market outlook for this week. It should be a fun one. Hopefully EA can spice it up with the content midweek when it looks like it could be a bit dry, but I'll be looking forward to that. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.